Hey everyone, this is Super Sport. I just wanted to go through uh, Craftware real quick with you. Um, I've been using Cura and I love Cura, it works great. But Craftware just has some neat features that I like. I'm not gonna run through them all here real quick. Um, for now, I'm just gonna show you a fast demo of what it does. I'll show you my settings and then I will show you the results of my settings on this, uh, this little boat here. So, um, just like Kira, you can zoom around, but look at the quality of the screen here. I mean, and this is a quad core PC with 12 gig of RAM. It's not a fast PC, I have to say, for a quad core, it's actually quite slow. Um, but I also run this on a 2009 MacBook, an old one, with uh, 4 gig of RAM in it. And that MacBook is super slow, but it also redraws just like this. Zoom around, it, it shows it real clean like this. So, anyways, um, let's go ahead and go to the slicer. I'm going to click here and say slice and you can use the easy settings if you want to and if you use high PLA add raft and just slice it does a pretty decent job but I was getting a little bit of stringing and it wasn't quite as clean as I wanted it to so I went to expert mode and I set some settings up so I've got um, I don't want that one I want this setting here so these are my settings that I'm currently using and I'll show you the results like I say so I'm going to show you these screens. We'll go to the basic screen here first. Just pause this and set your settings like this and you'll get the results I'm getting. Of course, different temperatures in the room, different filament, what have you, will change things. But for the most part, um, this would be a good jump start. So there's my basic settings. There's my advanced settings. And I'm playing with the idea of speeding it up. That's why I had some other presets up in here. I'm, I'm going to try and speed it up. The last one I tried kind of made a mess of things, so I'm going to start over and, and do it again. Here's my foundation. Here's temperature. And G code is just what it was when I got it. I haven't changed anything in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to slice. Now watch how fast this happens. And just like that, it's sliced. And again, Look how fast it draws this. It's just amazing how quickly everything draws. Okay, so then once I've sliced it, I just tell it to save, and I save it out to my SD card, and I throw it in my printer. So I've got the uh, Creality CR10. It's the standard unit with the 300, 300, 400 print base. Um, and at this point, I'll go and show you what that's like. I'll show you what this came out as. Okay, so I'm at the printer. I'm going to come in and show you what I got. So I'm printing on the glass. I use a very thin layer of this on the board. Um, this works really fantastic and you don't have to apply, apply it every time in between prints. I'm doing it like every tenth print or so. So, we'll come in here and just look at the detail on this. Well, you know what? We might not. Here, let me try this. Look at the lack of stringing in the window. And in the hole there. And in that window. I haven't touched this yet. Literally have not touched it. It's directly on the printer bed right now. Have not removed it or anything. Right here. Sorry, I've got some Harley parts under my feet. It's kind of noisy. Look at that, no stringing, no supports. Just printed it direct. Just fantastic. So these settings I'm super happy with right now. And that's not stringing in the back there, that's marks, just the way it was laid down. Okay, so that's the results. And it's just a standard uh, CR10. I've added the adjustment wheels, love them. Made myself the little toolbox. 
I added the uh, fan. This is the fan for the stock shroud or for the stock fan. I'm sorry, it's the shroud for the stock fan. Um, I have added that. I added the box in the back here, which it's really cool and it, it printed out nicely. Um, problem is you got to move it every time you want to change the filament. Oh, and here's the filament I'm using. Just so you know. And the temperatures you saw in the previous section of the video. Oh, I also put the uh, the wire restraint on there. All these parts have just been great upgrades. Um, this one, I like it. it hasn't been like life changing. These have been life changing. And of course that wire restraint back there has been. Oh, and then the, uh, the shroud I believe has been. I, I don't really know because it printed decent before, but it does seem like it's a little bit better, less stringing, things like that, so. Anyways, there's Benchy, and we'll see you later. One more thing, I wanted to show you when I put on the glue, it goes on purple, and when it turns clear, that's when you know it's dry enough to start printing. Um, the printer bed's cold right now, I'm heating it up. Once it's warmed up to temp, it dries really quickly. It only takes a few seconds and that goes clear. You can see it's already going a little bit clear now. But it's kind of cool, it has a color change to it, so you really know what's going on. Okay, I just removed Benchy from the, the uh, print bed. Just want to run across it with you real quick. I mean, just look at the quality. Just astounding. I haven't cleaned that. There's a tiny bit of loose filament right there. Once I clean that, that hole looks like it's going to come out nice and clean. Oh, what about the back hole? Yeah, even that came out nice. Okay, that's it, just wanted to share them with you.